Hi, I'm a DocuSign University trainer. Today, I'll be showing you how to create and utilize signing groups when setting up an e-signature envelope or template. Signing groups allow you to send an envelope to all members of the group, but only one member needs to take action and sign. Signing groups are ideal in scenarios where you need a department or a team signature on a document. Signing groups may not be included with all DocuSign e-signature plans. You can always contact DocuSign support for questions regarding your plan. There will be a link to our support site in the description of this video. Signing groups are created within your admin settings and on the left side, scrolling down underneath users and groups, selecting signing groups. For this video, I will create a signing group for my legal team. There are scenarios where I need a legal signature for my agreements. I don't necessarily care who from my legal team signs, I just need someone to sign. Whoever from my legal team has the bandwidth to review and sign the document will work. This would be the perfect scenario for a signing group. To create a signing group, I'll click Add Signing Group and give it a name. I will title this Legal Team. To finish creating the group, I can click Save. Now I have this signing group for Legal Team, but I don't yet have anyone in it. To add people to the signing group, we'll click Actions, Assign Users. You can add up to 200 users in the signing group. To include people in the group, you can select from your existing account users, or if you would like to add someone who is not a part of your account, you can select Add User Manually at the top and add someone's name and email address. Again, they do not need to be a part of your account as a user. For today, I'll just go ahead and add a couple of my users. I'll select a few here and assign. Another option that we have for this signing group underneath the detail tab is to use an alternate email address for notifications sent to this signing group. By default, if we're not using this option, then each person in the signing group is going to get their own individual notification when an envelope is sent to the group. If we choose this option, however, then we could type in a distro, for example, I could type legal at company.com, and then only a single notification would go out to this address. Now, there are two things to note with this option. First, your signing group members do need to have access to this alternate email address that you add so that they can view the notifications. And second, your signing group members do need to have a DocuSign account in order to actually access the envelope from the notification that's sent to this alternate email address. That way, DocuSign knows who is actually signing the agreement. For today, I'm not going to use an alternate email address, so I'll click Save. Once the signing group is added, any sender on the account can include this signing group as a recipient on their envelopes or their templates. Back on the homepage, let's see how we can utilize the signing group for our legal team. I'm going to create a new envelope and we'll be sending out an NDA to a customer. So I'll upload my NDA document. I will include a signing order and the first recipient will be my customer. I'll call her Connie Customer. After the customer signs, I need someone from my legal team to sign. I'll select Add Recipient, and now I can add my legal signing group. You can do this two ways. You can first start to type the name of the group like this and select the signing group here. Or if you click your address book icon, this opens up your directory from any recipients that you've sent to in the past. And your signing groups will also appear here as well. So I can select my legal team signing group. Remember, this will be available for any of your senders to add to their envelopes or templates. Once I click apply, that legal signing group has been added and I can hover over the signing group members link to see who is included. I'll go ahead and click next and I'll just add a few fields at the bottom of this NDA for the customer. 
and then using the recipient drop down, I'll switch to add fields for the legal team, whoever that ends up being from my signing group. And when I'm ready, send. So now let's observe the signing process. The first notification will be for my customer, Connie. I'll go ahead and have her come in and review and sign the agreement. Connie signs, the envelope will be routed to my legal team signing group. Each member of the signing group is going to get their own individual notification. So you can see, for example, here is Becca's notification, here is Amanda's notification, and here is Carly's notification. Now, whoever has the time or views the envelope first can sign on behalf of the group. Remember, only one person needs to sign on behalf of the group. So I'll go ahead and click into one of these and we'll say that Becca has time today to review and sign this NDA for her team. So Becca will come in and be able to sign as legal and finish. So once all parties have signed the agreement, everyone will receive an envelope completion email. I will get a copy as the sender, my customer will get a copy, and then all three members of my signing group are going to get a copy, even those that did not take action. The envelope history and certificate of completion will hold a record of who actually signed the document. Here I am within the details of the envelope within my e-signature account. I can see that Connie the customer signed first and then it was sent to legal and it was actually signed by Becca in our case. Utilizing signing groups is a great way to share the signing responsibility with a group of people from a team or department. You're now ready to begin using signing groups.